Staffordshire County Council is proud to be leading the way in improving social care for adults. Care in Staffordshire is progressing, changing and becoming more tailored so that people can lead more independent and fulfilling lives. Well, Staffordshire County Council are proud of the fact that we're seen as national leaders. We're developing the market as the Community Wellbeing Fund, which is growing dozens and dozens of new, very local services. We're really putting people at the center of the way that they live their lives. We're really putting people with the ability to choose, with options. And yes, I think Staffordshire is, should we say, well ahead of the game. COGS, the Cherry Orchard Gardening Service, is a social enterprise which is in the final stages of moving away from the council. The group originally formed from the Litchfield Day Service, as Brenda Tunstall explains. So I've been working with the gardeners for 16 years, training on the grounds here. Um, roughly 10 years ago, we decided to start up um, a service that would move away from the day service and into the community. And it was set up initially to give our men community presence so that they could um, raise the profile of people with learned disabilities to show how skilled they are at what they do with the mowers, the strimmers, the weeding, pruning and everything. Um, and it's worked magnificently well. I love it. I'm job. Oh, my lovely friends. I've got Brendan Lineby laughing and Tracy the other gaffer. Well, I'll say, oh, morning, Colin, how are you this morning? I'll say, fine. And it's nice to see them every day? Yes, and every day. COGS works by having uh, a team of the gardeners who are the main decision makers. And then the directors come along and support the decisions that that team has made. So being part of COGS, it is solely their business, but also those decision-making skills are now giving them opportunities to live so much more independently. The whole self-belief, self-worth, their, their worth to the community is so much greater as a result of the engagement that they've got. COGS has strong links with Burntwood Live at Home an organisation aimed at helping the elderly to stay within the comfort of their own home for as long as possible. COGS work with over 170 gardens within the Burntwood area, including that of Jean Grace. They had this garden scheme going, so when I couldn't do the garden very well, I got in touch with their people and they've been coming for about six years now. It's just, it just works really well, not only for, for the men in COGS, but for the, the members of the Burntwood Live at Home scheme who are elderly, who need help with their gardens. It just works well, it's a brilliant partnership and the lads get a great deal out of it and enjoy it thoroughly. Oh, great help. It would be a, a jungle out there, I think, otherwise. <laughs> Chris Botts has severe disabilities and requires constant care. His mum, Anne, and partner, Roy, obtain help from direct payments via the council's in-control scheme. Direct payments really offer the opportunity for people to have more choice, tailored services, which of course means a much better and more flexible quality of life. Christopher used to attend a local day centre. They tried to do activities with him, but he really didn't progress and benefit uh, as an individual doing those activities because they were pitched at a sort of a group of people always and Christopher is a person with very very complex needs and he benefits mostly from working with him um, as an individual on an individual basis. Uh, Christopher can participate in day centre activities but the problem is they may not be tailored to his individual needs. And so therefore, uh, any progress was limited within the day centre environment. With Christopher's needs requiring a more one-to-one -one care, the payments have allowed for Val to work with him more directly on a wide range of activities. His activities that he does are very stimulating for him, yes. He's just learning new things all the time and he remembers. A lot of people don't think he can remember things, but he can actually remember, i.e. colours and things like that. The control uh, package uh, enables Christopher to do a wide range of activities, such as uh, he goes to the gym uh, once a week, he goes swimming twice a week, 
go on his bike a couple of times a week. Christopher loves the outdoors and the beautiful Staffordshire countryside is ideal for his needs. His newfound confidence allows him to play an active part within the local community. His freedom of choice for his own tailored care now includes regular visits to the local farm where he enjoys feeding the newborn lambs. Since he's left the day centre it's just amazing how much he has improved, it really is. And I think Christopher's far better off for being on this one-to-one -one system as opposed to the day centre. With Chris fully benefiting from the council's in-control scheme, Tony Lines helps others who wish to move away from the day centre, giving them, like Chris, more control on how to handle their care. I've done some work with people on in control, which involves six service users that I helped to look for what was on offer in the community and looked at their whole life as a whole instead of just what they do here. Tony has helped Tim and Janet Cork. The married couple also benefit from direct payments, which allows them to participate in a range of activities together. They enjoy frequent visits to Tempin Bowling in Stokes Festival Park. Well, when we go out, um, people are always saying hi to us. Yeah. And like if we go into town, people know us. Yes. So direct payment does give us more access to the community. Definitely. You know, I suppose really, to, for them to be married was quite a step really. But they do love, you know, they, they love all the things they do because they'd outgrown the day service and they don't like a structured, they just didn't like that. They really happier, much happier with this, the personal budget, definitely. It's worked out well for them, yes, it's given them their freedom of choice really, made them a lot more independent on, on what they want to do. Better quality of life? Yeah, much better, yes. Mm. I feel that all six people that were on the personal budget their lives have improved, enhanced, they feel valued, enabled, they've been given the power, people feel powerless and I just feel that they feel a person in society as everybody else from a personal budget. You know, they're not somebody that's labelled of attending a day service or a disability. I feel it's given them being a person. Tina Westwood, a community link officer from Stafford, works in a similar role to Tony, helping day service users who are looking to leave the service. Joan Late approached Tina to help her achieve the more independent life she was looking for. Initially, Joan started at the day service when she was 16. Uh, she's now in her 50s. Joan saw that I was working with a group of people that had actually moved away from the service through working with myself and she saw me as a person that could help her to become more independent. She didn't like coming to the service anymore, she said it was boring, um, she wanted to do more, she wanted to get out uh, and I said well I can help you to do that, definitely. So we started looking into the things that she wanted to do. After meeting Tina, Joan expressed an interest in wanting to work. Tina helped Joan approach local businesses for employment opportunities. She now works five days a week, including here in the staff canteen at Sainsbury's. Well, I do work here, I like it here, and I'm going to stay here till I'm 77. I'm not going to keep away from this place at all, I love it. I don't feel like going home. I'm enjoying it that much. I'm really enjoying it, aren't I, Tina? I love it. And I'm more happier, I'm more bubbly without the centre. I'm never, never going back to Santa. She's found this whole new confidence um, and she keeps telling me how independent she is now and how much she enjoys it and about all the new friends that she's made. Well, it was little steps at first, wasn't it, Tina? But it's huge steps now. So I don't need the centre anymore, which is a good value. Well, I feel more relaxed. I'm left alone. I can achieve my goal with other people, which I'm doing now, which is good, isn't it? You feel now you also have a lot more choice. I've got a lot more choice, yes, I have important that they move away from the day service. One, just to give them independence, being socially included. They build up a bigger circle of friends and it's just that feeling of achievement that they get. Um, you've seen Joan in Sainsbury's, how happy she is. 
um, and that goes that I've worked with quite a few people now who've completely moved away from the service and the whole outlook has changed, they're more confident. Elite, enabling living independently today and every day, is a user-led organisation which encourages not just disabled people but also the elderly to live independently with the lifestyle they aspire to. The group has a wide range of activities including song, dance, drama, arts and craft as well as computers. Elite are a user-led organisation that means that it is led by carers and service users. We have the choice and control over how we want to live our lives instead of someone telling us how to live our lives. It's not just the service users who benefit, but the group also means a great deal to the wonderful volunteers. My name is Lynn Edwards and I volunteered because um, I was nearly four years in bereavement after losing my husband and I needed to give someone something and I found this place and it's wonderful. Mainly I bring to them music, a bit of dance, a bit of upper body movements, we sing a bit, um, we play little games and it's just joy, complete joy. And the idea is for social inclusion. We profess that we are not a day service. People have the choice if they want to come along, join in with any activity, and they're making friendships. Coming here, oh, it's marvellous, the attitude and the atmosphere is brilliant. I haven't seen anybody on our feet here. I know I'm not. I was thoroughly enamoured with it last week, and I declared on the way out as I was coming back again. Elite holds activities in a variety of different locations across Staffordshire, in addition to the drop-in session. They also hold a weekly drama group in Leek, allowing users to build up confidence and generally have fun with friends. Okay, three, two, one, action! they get a chance to express themselves in a positive way and uh, in a safe environment for them to do so as well and, and hopefully they, they tend to grow in confidence which also helps their behaviour in the outside world and also helps some of them towards independence as well. Oh yes it's meeting people and it's also uh, if you are feeling a bit low you aren't low for long when you come in here you lift up because of the people that are here. At the Rebound Therapy Group in Cannock, gentle exercise on a trampoline is used to facilitate movement and promote balance, including dual sensory impairment and autistic spectrum. Rebound Therapy is the use of trampolines in providing therapeutic exercise and recreation to people with, with complex needs. The part I play is for sensory rebound. Um, which is more to do with the service users using the, using the trampoline and they're getting the vibrations of the movement and they're able to pick what they want to use or what they don't want to use. They're very much leading the way as to how, I suppose, vigorous the session is or how calm it is, depending on the person. The group is an option for people with high-level needs who would benefit from this therapy. Well, it improves such a lot of things. It improves their cardiovascular, um, their limb strength. Um, obviously, someone with very limited movement, um, by doing all the stretches, you're actually improving their, their strength, limb strength. Um, it's good for the lung function. We find that when people are on the trampoline, they'll have a cough, and it's, it's actually loosening everything up. Although these sessions are run by Debbie and Maureen, the group also gains support from parents and volunteers who act as spotters during sessions. Some of them are very profoundly disabled and others are a lot more able, but each pattern is, just, is tailored to suit 
every one of the children. They don't all do the same exercise. And because it's spread over six weeks, you can really see a change. They seem withdrawn at the beginning, at the end they're really laughing and it really brings them on. And seeing the development over the, the weeks is absolutely amazing. When the six weeks are finished, we have the service users actually asking us, when am I doing rebound therapy again? They can't wait to get back on the bed. Initially, Roxburgh had been functioning as a satellite unit that was operating under the supervision of COD's All Day Service. Its members came together to campaign for a more tailored care, where they then were able to become more independent. Roxbury is a service for adults with learning difficulties. Um, it was set up a couple of years ago for people to run their own service within the local community. Uh, Roxbury really is about giving people independence and aiding them in their personal development. Um, its sole purpose is to keep people in the local community instead of how things used to be where people were taken quite far away uh, out of their local area. We've done things as whitewater rafting, uh, we've been on lo lots of active holidays, um, the group have just finished a drama course and so it is very flexible, there's no set routine, uh, it's very much about what the group come together to decide to do. Through our sessions, like going to regular places consistently, our members have started to develop relationships with other professionals and people they've met in the community, one of which is the swimming group. Um, they begin there once a week at least and via that they've been doing sponsored swims in order to raise money for us. They've been doing a lot of community links working with other groups um, and again it's just enabled them to have more of a social presence uh, within their local community. With growing confidence and independence, the group are ready to make their own decisions. With a giant leap forward on the 1st of April 2011, they became officially unique by being the first in the region to be a fully user-led organisation, independent from the County Council. The purpose of, of today's meeting was for Roxburgh to launch from what was a traditional day service opportunity into um, a user-led organisation as a social enterprise and the meaning of that is that the Roxburgh members are now fully in control of their own business. Because actually what you're doing is leading the way not just in Staffordshire but across the country and I'm really pleased to be at this launch because it's a what seven year journey so far and actually what this launch is about is not the end of that journey what it's actually about is the start of the next bit of the journey. I'm so American, I'm, I'm the treasurer of Roxburgh. We, we have our own committee and we make our own decisions. I'm more confident now because I'm like, on a committee. It makes, it more, it makes it more interesting. Well, the work Roxburgh are doing is truly motivational. A group of people with enormous challenges, taking control of their life, no longer having the regimented routine that perhaps they once used to have, making decisions, making choices, some difficult decisions, but actually running their own lives. It's tremendous to see, and the more times that we can achieve that, with Roxburgh's help to show what's possible, the more people we can aspire to do the same. New personalised packages of care are stimulating, tailored to the individual and their lifestyle, giving them a better quality of life, more control, and allowing them to progress. It is from the help from In Control. Certainly we'd not have been able to undertake as much as we, we have done without the, the, the In Control budget. It's been an immense help. The men are full of self-esteem. <laughs> They're completely empowered <laughs> and they earn a wage, which is excellent. Roxburgh really has been about community links and what that has done really is worked with people's independence. It has allowed everybody to have more growth, uh, more input, and from that has given a lot of people confidence and more social respect. Staffordshire in the future, care-wise, will mean choice. It'll mean services that are designed and supported around the individual. So probably no two bits of support will be the same. It's around trying to fill in the gaps for people, trying to maintain as normal a life as possible, treating people absolutely as individuals, having respect for them and trying to aspire them to take note of their challenges 
but not have it stop their lives. Make sure they still live an active, fulfilling and enjoyable life. For more information on how to live a happier, healthier and more independent life, go to www.staffordshirecares.info or call an advisor on 0300 111 8010.